we started to explore analytics technology and, and what that could do for our business. Uh, we were looking at everything from content generation, from machine learning, uh, right through to data mining our existing content sets to just get more out of it for our customers. We'd spoken to a lot of industry experts and we had some consistent advice. Just start, uh, but start small. Because often you go in a direction that you did not anticipate at the start. In parallel, we were conducting a customer focus group uh, on another product, our new legislation citator. In that prototype, one very minor feature was to surface council and solicitor names where they were acting for a particular party in a case. Now, the focus group really latched onto that information and a very lively and lengthy discussion took place on how valuable that information was and how everybody in the room would use that information. So this planted the seed for the idea for the first product analytics suite. From there, we had to work out what content set to start off with. So we looked at our most used content set, which is in fact the High Court case set, and we said, yes, that's the one we will start with. The next phase in the process was a design sprint. Now, the design sprint is a method used by Google uh, and it's a more effective way to innovate more quickly. So over a five day period, you find out if the concept has legs. If it has legs, you move it on quite quickly. If it doesn't, you kill it there and then. The overall brief for the design sprint was to use our high court cases and look at them in a new way. But we wanted to combine the traditional legal research, but in a better way, with providing our customers with new insights to that content. So we were using the analytic technologies as a bridge between the old and the new. So moving from that traditional research space around legal principles to a focus on the strategic practice of law, including participants in the legal process. A solicitor is not sure who to brief on a matter to get the best result for their client. The dynamic filters allow the user to identify who is the most experienced counsel in a particular area of law. Select the area of law. Select a barrister from the list. From here, you're able to view the profile of the selected barrister. The solicitor can also obtain information on barrister experience in relation to a specific act. The profile also displays any relationships between judges, firms, barristers and parties. This software provides the customer with new ways to explore case law and assists in the move towards a more strategic practice of law, the business of law. One of the aims of having the High Court Analyzer is to use it to further engage with the market. So what features are of most value? What content sets do people want? Uh, explore the potential to partner with different organisations to provide a customised solution for them. We'll be working with customers very closely on future developments, but now we have a reference point to talk with our customers about. One big advantage of the analytics infrastructure is the flexibility to build in a modular way. So our next module that we're building, we haven't determined as of yet, 
but we'll be working in close collaboration with the market to work out what that is. But the initial interest has been greatly around judges, representation and the insights around case outcomes.